is the hard work and passion. Welcome, 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 welcome. This is the Beyond Take Two podcast, brought to you by Beyond Hollywood International Film Festival. I am your host, Madge. And I'm your host, Veronica. And today we have a special, special, special guest in the building. This guy, man. This, look, this when I tell you, this guy is a Dorsey Down football legend. And, Dorsey? An yes. Oregon Duck Watch. football legend. <laughs> Oregon Duck football legend. Um, he is a master on the keys. He, he, he has spirit fingers. He's got those jazz oh, hands. No, no. He's killing it on the keys. Uh, just got his millionth stream for a single Rulax wow. off of his album Chill Hop Vibes Volume One. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the man that Hans Zimmer wants to be like when he grows up. <laughs> My guy is in the building. The only guy I know who uses his full government as a stage name, Mr. <laughs> Stephen Lamar Moore, is in the building, everybody. Yeah. What's going on, Steve? Man, I appreciate you, Bass. Man, that introduction is crazy. Hey, man, you know, we try to treat our guests right. Man. Yeah, yeah. I'm mean, people sweet. right, man. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, the most important. Yeah, right? yeah. So, so Stephen is a, he's a musician, but he's a composer for films. Award-winning. So, award-winning composer. Oh, he's a composer, yes. You know, he, he's got over, what, about 10, 15 movies under your belt right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. The, the man is hard at work, so we wanted to bring him in and, you know, uh, share his story and, you know, everything that he's doing within the film industry. You know, it might be some composers watching, so... You know, you got to learn from the best, man. So we try to bring in the best. Yes, and on, and on what goes on behind the scenes, behind right? The scenes, behind. Bringing it to light. Yes, yes. Well, first, it's time for our buttered up segment. Yes. We have a new popcorn today. It don't look like a lot in that bowl. It is not. <laughs> Thanks, well, Wally. Well, the big homie Wally suggested. Will you do the peanut butter caramel popcorn? Wow. And it's vegan. So oh, oh. And it's vegan. Healthy. Ah. <laughs> it's it's fancy, allegedly fancy. vegan. I don't know. Yeah, what that is. One of those. But it is from Trader Joe's. Yeah. Mm, not bad. Sweet, huh? Not bad. Come on, man. All right. Now what do you, you rate it? You got to rate it one through ten. I'm a peanut butter fan, so <laughs> I'm a little biased, so I'm going to say ten. What? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He needs that applause. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Steven said a 10. You got a good sound effect. It's almost like uh, a... Yeah, I was just going to say like a four. Like, 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 a, a like, Captain, Ca- like Captain Crunch peanut oh, butter. Oh, yeah. Right yeah. yeah. Or the oh, Reese's you need Pieces. Is... Right. Yeah, oh, that's You need some milk. Let me try you good. this one. <laughs> that's some water. <laughs> that could be a cereal. It looks sweet. It, right? It could be a cereal. What that's do you rate it, Mash? You're so hard. Four? 4.5? He's a tough critic. He's a tough critic. Yeah. It's tasty. Um, I give it a seven. Oh, okay. I give it a seven. It's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. So you eat more than one, so it gotta be pretty good. You know what? <laughs> Ryan gonna go have a bowl, whole bowl. I know, right? Leave it, leave it with Ryan. After the show, I'll I'll eat the whole popcorn. But <laughs> I'm gonna give it an I'm gonna give it an eight. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's really sweet. I I like peanut butter, but only in my sandwiches. I hear you. I hear <laughs> you. I don't I don't taste a lot of caramel in it. Do you taste the caramel? Did y'all I, don't I taste more peanut butter than I yeah. taste all peanut yeah, butter. For yeah. Sure. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really taste any caramel in it. So, but it is. Uh, I'm thirsty now. It's pretty tasty. All right. <laughs> yeah, it make it make you want to get some water. Oh yeah! Oh, Shout nice. out to um, Trader Joe's. Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. This is oh the, yeah. Uh, yeah. Second Trader Joe's we've had. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Second Trader Joe's popcorn we've had. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, my other friend told me there's a like a maple one that they do. Oh. She sent it to me. Maple she was like, "You gotta go, like a maple popcorn, like hmm. syrup." I could try that. I'll try I that too. I don't know. We'll have to try that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's from Trader Joe's too? Yeah, hopefully Trader Joe's will just send it to us so we don't have to go buy it. Exactly. <laughs> send it. Trader, we, lo- we love your popcorn, Trader. Yeah, you yeah. got to hook us up. <laughs> That's funny. We be begging and pleading for sponsors. I know. Yeah, hey, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Come on, Trader Joe's. Come on now. Yeah. Don't you like us? Hmm. But we're going to let Veronica get adjusted. There you go. There you go. 
Steve, um, man, how you doing today, man? I'm great, man. I mean, besides the weather being so cold, but yeah, it's all right. You know, my family, most of my family, from the East Coast, so okay. it feels nice. like it feels like we're in the East Coast. Uh, my grandma, she lives in San Bernardino. Okay, yeah. she sent me pictures of uh, the front yard, and it's just. Filled with snow. With snow. Yeah. Really? So like, yeah, it's like yeah. she in Buffalo or somewhere. Uh -huh. We got some snow. We're in um, Claremont. So oh, okay. It started snowing yeah. on us yesterday. Yeah. That's like yeah. going yeah. away. Yeah. 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 It was yeah. snowing. Yeah. yeah. Like for me, that just feels like the world is about to end. It's <laughs> snowing in like LA area, San Bernardino. Yeah. Well, San Bernardino, that's a little bit in the valley. Yeah, it's a little bit out there. the mountains. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's always colder over there. I hope it's like yeah. that every year now. They said it was like in Burbank it was snowing. Really? Yeah. yeah. My um my daughter goes to daycare in Carson. Mm -hmm. They said it was hailing over there. It's wow. Crazy. That's close by. That's yeah, cool. I was right down the street. I was okay. like, yeah, I guess it is weather's changing. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah man, that, that uh what is it? Uh, global warming. Yeah, I guess they were serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, somebody was correct. Actually, right, right, yeah, right. right. For once. <laughs> Someone's not lying. Yeah. Somebody was correct. Oh, man. <laughs> These politicians listen. Um, but, Steve, why don't you tell us a little bit um, about your story? Because I, I didn't even know. We went to Dorsey together. Mm hmm. Um, That's you crazy. know, we wasn't like best friends or anything, yeah. but you know, we had a couple. Of yeah, we was together. cool though. Yeah, uh, I didn't, I didn't know that you were like into music when we mm -hmm. were there. Um, so why don't you tell a little people just kind of like your background, where you're okay. from, and you know how you got started on the keys and okay, you know, got to this level right now. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'm from Compton. Uh, so CPT. CPT. Represent. CPT. <laughs> That's I, I wore all red because I knew you was from. Compton. <laughs> I, wore, I wore the all I red. I'm I figured, I figured like, something was going on. I said, he must have known. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we went to Dorsey, too. You know, you got He's the uncles over today. there and all that good stuff. Uh, so I had to represent a little right, bit. Yeah, yeah, nothing wrong with that. You got to represent. I, I know. I, I, I asked him, and he's like, I went to Dorsey High. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh. No, nah, I don't care. I, 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 do not, I do not condone gangbanging. Uh, no, I we all don't. A little bit. Right. But, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm from Compton. Uh... Born and raised. Um, I guess my first real start with music was basically in church. Mm. Um, I think most musicians kind of, to some degree, start off in church. Right. So that was that was my introduction to music. So um, church choir, uh, choir rehearsal on Tuesdays, Bible study Wednesdays. Everybody knows. Nice, nice. <laughs> so were, were, yeah. were you, you, you were singing in the choir? Yeah. Or? Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, was, I was okay. I thought I was an okay singer. I mean. Don't ask me to sing. All right, all right. You know, all right. I can I can I can do a little bit. I can hold a note, yeah. and harmonize. Nice, so. nice. Um, started off there, and the piano player in my church was a, he was kind of like a mentor of mine. So, um, rest in peace, Moses. He was one of my one of my mentors. Peace, yeah, yeah. So he was awesome. So he was just showing me little things, you know. And then when I'm in the choir, I just look at his hands, yeah. you know, the whole time, you know, while we singing. So. Um, Started off there, and then you know, once I got that music bug, man, it just kind of grew. Yeah, you know, yeah. and um, and you mentioned in high school that you didn't know that, um, you know, because football was kind of it was, it was football music, football yeah. music, yeah. right? So uh, a lot of the focus was trying to get out and get a scholarship. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Did football. you guys both play football? I played basketball. He should have oh, okay, played okay. football. Yeah. I probably, I probably should. Yeah. 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 Knox wanted me to play. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Coach Knox. He had, yeah. Was he at Washington? Is he still at Washington? No, I. I think he is. Shout out to Coach Knox. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think he's still at Washington. Yeah. He's still he's still doing his thing. Though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's right. not retired like yeah. you say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's still <laughs> they say they retired. He's not retired. Yeah. But uh uh but yeah, football was like the main thing to get out. Nice. You know, that was our mindset back then. Like let's, you know, get a football scholarship and uh find your way from there. So I was always juggling both, right, you know, at the time. But football is probably a little more prim uh priority just because um that's as closest thing I can Right, right. Closest, right. you know, tangible thing that you know go that we set for ourselves. So, right. now, did yeah. were you were you on the keys at this point in in high school? Or no, I wasn't on the keys, man. I was a I was a I was an NPC guy banging okay. on banging on drum pads. Yep, yep, you yep. know, samples, mm -hmm. uh, grabbing records, kit snares, hi hats. Your producers know about that. That's <laughs> It's easy now, you know, with all the audio. You, can just, you know what right. I mean? All you got to do is go online. Yeah, Somebody yeah, 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 yeah. Back then, we had to really search for the, the open hat. Oh, there it is. Right, right, grab right. Grab it, you know, grab kits. It. Yeah. You know how it goes. So, 
Um, at that time, that's what we were doing. But uh, That's when you really knew, though, that you really had a love for right, music. Right, Because, I mean, you're sitting there for hours just yeah. grabbing samples. Right, you didn't even start right. no beat yet. You just yeah. grabbing samples. Right, yeah. right. Listening to sounds. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Trying to find, trying to find a, a, two snares that you like to put right. in the pack. Right, right. <laughs> right. Like, man, it took me two days to find right. snares. Right. You know, but uh, I think doing that over time, you kind of learn... Um, because you listen to so much music, yeah. music while you're doing that in the yeah. process. So um, while doing that, you just like, man, this particular band sounds like this. You start mm-hmm. picking up a certain things like mm-hmm. that. It's like, oh, okay. When I listen to The Temptations, they have this kind of sound. Mm-hmm. Or mm-hmm. Otis Redding, this kind of sound. Or, you know, uh, right. Marvin Gaye, whoever. So right, right. It, it, it kind of turned me into a student without me really knowing it. Mm. You know? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dope. So after uh, high school... Um, you get a scholarship to play football at Oregon University of Oregon. Yep. yep. Um, did you go heavy into music then? Did you were you in any like programs or anything like that, or was it mainly still like football? Uh, no, I was I was in the music still. Um, a lot of my teammates, you know, they used to come to my room because I had like a uh, a small like uh, sequencer. Kind of okay. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and then I had Garage Band. I had a lot of stuff. Right, right. So we used to just go in there and freestyle and yeah. just have fun. You know, we student athletes, yep, man. We just yep. need something to do. Yep. To, you know, fill in time when we do have it. So uh, that was something that we did all the time. So uh, they used to call me S Dot back then. <laughs> Yeah, that's they used to call was. me V dot. Oh. Hey, it's something about hey. Look, they call K dot K dot now. Right, right. You know, so I guess it's this line. That there. is so funny. I yeah. still get people that like yeah. I haven't spoke to in a long time. They're like, "What's up, V dot?" And I'm like, letting it. I'm like, okay, hey, hold on. You, you they to, did. Used, you to, used to freestyle that. and uh, no, <laughs> and I did not freestyle. No, they just would call me V dot. Yeah. I think was, it's like a badge of honor, though. You know, they call you yeah V dot S dot. So. Yeah. If somebody called me that, I know they know me for a while. Right, yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, you were in the trenches with me. Right, right, <laughs> right. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, yeah and we, what, what was your experience like, you know, playing football and, you know, um, you know, what, what, what was just like being a college athlete? And oh, man, it was. Uh, high D1 school. Yeah, it was, yeah. It, was, it, was, it was cool. It was, I, mean, I think the culture shock, I think, was uh, probably just the weather. Okay. Cause it rained a lot, you know, Pacific yeah. Northwest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rain all the time. It's pretty much overcast. I'm gonna say six to eight months out the year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Besides yeah. spring and summer. Right. It's pretty much overcast. So, uh, but we had a lot of cats from LA. Okay. That nice. was up there. So okay. that kind of made it a little more easier to, yeah. you know, like home. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. what position did you play? I played cornerback. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you're fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I was I was one of those little quick dudes that yeah. you know making sure they would catch the ball. So right. You know, Dion, Charles Woodson, nice, Chad Bailey. Those were my. Uh, those are the guys I was looking up to at the yeah. time. Dope, yeah, dope, yeah, dope. yeah. But it was it was great, man. Um, it was, it was just, <clears throat> it was an adjustment in the sense of you know, looking at it as a business. You know, right. Once right. I got there, it was like, oh, okay, like. It's fun and games, but yeah. you know they want to win. And, right, and, right, right. These dudes can lose their job; they don't win. Yeah, exactly. So it's exactly. a lot more pressure. You know? Now, so, who, who was your who was your coach while you were there? Uh, Mike Bellotti. Mike Bellotti. Yeah, okay. Shout out to Mike. Mike Bellotti. <laughs> so yeah, the, yeah. he was before Chip Kelly, right? After, right he, after. He was right after Chip. Kelly? Right after. Yeah, I my last year, Chip came the following, I believe. Okay. Or the okay. year after. Yeah. Okay. And he okay, was. In, okay. Yeah, it was. He won too long after I was finished. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dope. Dope. Mm-hmm. Dope. Yes. So four years. Um, now you they they just like awarded you. Some, I, saw, I saw something. Oh yeah, they uh, so they do like an alumni appreciation day nice. every once in a while. So they they get athletes from different eras or or whatever. Wow. And uh, this past year, uh, they did it for me at the UCLA game. Nice. So I went up there to UCLA, and they had uh, they did like a video on the, on the scoreboard. On halftime, okay, That's like a so tribute cool. kind of thing, and yeah. seeing all the highlights and you know that kind of thing. So yeah, it, it, it was super cool, man. Super yeah. Cool. Did you um did did you get drafted or how how did that work after your fourth year? So I didn't get drafted. What did did you um, did you submit to enlist? Yeah, to yeah, okay. yeah. So I tried out for a few teams. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you getting some more of that? That's pretty good. It's <laughs> you have to sneak. You can, you can drive it. No, but it was uh. I tried off a few teams like the Jets, Ravens. I, 
I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know, I'm You're trying to myself. talk. I know, right? You can't I'm put sorry, peanut butter Steven. in your mouth while you're talking. <laughs> I'm gonna sorry, get stuck. Steven. Right, right, <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, the Jets, Ravens, the Browns. Um, those were the three that um, that I tried out for. Okay. And um, it didn't happen, which is okay. Yeah. But uh, I ended up going to trying out for the arena football team. Okay. In San Jose. Okay. On the Saber Cats. Oh. So I did a private workout with them. Nice. Everything was good. But then I had a tragic incident, which kind of derailed that part of the game. So, mm. Well, you mind sharing? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sharing. So uh, this was, man, this was a little bit after Oregon. So maybe two years after I graduated, okay. around that time. And um, I I was uh, working out. In, I was living in the Bay, because San Jose, I was working out right. up there. Okay. So I was living in the Bay at the time. And uh, I did a workout for the weekend, came back home mm-hmm. just to visit and then go back. So when I came home to visit, uh, auntie, she lived by USC mm-hmm. at the time. Um, and then went over there, randomly, um, was in the house, came out to go home. It was about 10 o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. And uh, got in my car. And as you know, these dudes rode up on me. Where are you from? Da-da. So I ran. And they got me five times. They got me three here. Wow. Twice here. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. So I ended up shattering my tip. Basically, my left leg was pretty much shattered. Wow. And this was okay. Just went in and out, but two years. So that kind of derailed the football thing. Like, it was over after that. Wow. You know? So this is like 2006, six, seven. This is like, yeah, 2008-ish. 2008. Okay. Around that okay. time. Yeah. Yeah. 2008, around that time. So... um. But yeah, man, I was like one of the darkest times of my life, man, yeah. going through that, you know, because you don't know where you're going to go after that. Right. It's right. hella confused. Right. Right. Confused, right. Like, uh, what am it's, I doing? It's, it's crazy that was by you. A lot of people don't know, like, USC. I grew up down the street from USC. Oh, okay. You know. Yeah. yeah. Dad so down there. It, 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 it used to be. Right. It used to kind of like, is. like like on, you wouldn't go, like, the, the USC kids wouldn't go west of Vermont. Yeah, so like Vermont yeah. is right there. That's right where the school ended, like across the street. Yep. You had like you know shops that kids would go to, but a lot of kids yeah. would go over there. Oh no, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now though, they USC bought up all the property. Oh nice. Yeah, yeah they kicked it's up their like, security yeah. too. Yeah, oh yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It wasn't like that when when we right, were right, right, exactly. It was like it's it's, it's secure. Yeah. It's security. Yeah. Pretty much surrounding like the whole school, just walking the streets, right, uh, right, right, neighborhoods. Yeah, but USC bought up a bunch of property. Oh yeah, yeah. past yeah. Vermont. So when you go there now, like I remember one time I went to like my old neighborhood. It's like by a Dinker Park. Oh okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm rolling by a Dinker Park, and it's a white boy with no shirt on, like running, like, taking a jog down <laughs> yeah. the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when I was younger, like That's it was not like that. That, that, no. that, that could yeah. never happen. So I knew like things had changed, but like a lot of the um, apartment buildings they've turned into student housing. Yep. Yeah. Um, you know, I think they even have like some like sororities over there. Yeah. Like, in that nice. As well. Well, so. that's good. Yeah, so a lot of the riffraff is, is like, uh, they, yeah, yeah, they, you can go there now. Yeah, yeah, you ain't yeah, gonna it's get fine, shot. It's fine now. It's, it's, <laughs> go ahead and go to Starbucks and do your thing. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all That's good pretty, now. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even know. I didn't yeah, even man, it was, uh, it was a, uh, it was a tough. Those those three years after that was tough <clears throat> because I couldn't really walk for like two years. Damn. So I was basically in, in one of those little push, right, push right, chairs with right. the seat in them. You know, you could sit in it. Yeah, I hated those. Right. I hated that. Damn. But, For two uh, years? Two years, man. Then I went back to Oregon. That's why. Shout out to Mike Bellotti, man, in Oregon. Oregon does. They uh they called me, man. They found out what happened. They said, hey, you know, if you want to get out of LA for a while just to rehab and, you know, just clear your mind, come on up, you know? Aw, that's So, uh, they, yeah, they looked out for me like that. Yeah. That's what's yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. So. So you went back up there for a couple of years? When I went up there for like nine months. Okay. Rehab, physical therapy. Mm-hmm. Um, just kind of clear my head, you know. Yeah. And they took care of you the free charge. Yeah, no, didn't charge no nothing, man. Just wow. use our facilities, use That's our coaches are for. Yeah, so. right. Wow. You know? yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um not that they had to. Right. But you know, they show love enough to do that, right. so which is cool. Um, so yeah, so I did that for like nine months. Um started walking a little better. Came back home, 
And then uh, once I came home, man, I, I just I was just trying to figure it out. You mm. know, I was still confused, angry, mm. uh, all those kind of things. So this is 2011, 2012? Mm -hmm. yeah. Around that time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And then um, after that, I came to the decision that I wanted to get in, uh, join the Peace Corps. Mm. So I joined the Peace Corps and went to the Dominican Republic for two years. Nice. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because I just wanted to get out, see something different. You know, my mind was different then. Right. You know, I was, it was almost like, uh, do all the things that you, you wanted to do. Right. You know, just do it. So right. that was my mindset at the time. So I mm. said, man, I'm just going to go out the country and. So you was building houses? And... Yeah, in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's a lot of work. Man. That's, what, that's what you. I mean, they, <laughs> you ain't making mansions out right. there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I was. Uh, I, I kind of went with, through the youth sector, and uh, mainly like mentorship. Okay. Big nice. brothers, oh, big dope. brother kind of stuff. So, oh, dope. Um, taught a little English, a little mm -hmm. bit, mm -hmm. uh, but mainly just you know helping out the young men out there. So, you know, th so this yeah. is. Years where you're not even really like messing with the music like yeah. that, so it's not even no. Nah, I wasn't even know, pursuing it. I, I wasn't yeah. pursuing it. I mean, I was pursuing it, but not. You know, nah, it was yeah, it was yeah. more or less. Uh, it was man. How would you say it? It, it was it was just kind of like a, a clearing of the mind. Right. You know, that's just kind of where I was at that the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I needed. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I, I I call it a great experience because even then I got to learn culture. Right, how people live. Right, you know. So, even though I wasn't doing music, that kind of helped me with inspiration to yeah. get back you know, into to get it. Get back into it. Right. You know? So I was able to draw a lot of things from that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you spent two years in Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, you come back home. Yep. Come back home. Uh, I told myself, all right, cool. I want to get into film and music. You know, TV. Versus uh, just doing, because at the time, you know, we were just doing beats, songs, yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. So I want to kind of expand myself and uh, get more into the TV market. Dope. Yeah. Dope. So uh, I was just, like you said, I started looking up guys like Hans Zimmer, uh, Terrence Blanchard. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, so many of them. Alex Silvestri, John Williams. You know, there's a lot of dudes, man. Yeah. Michael Giacchino. So I just started listening to a lot of these guys. And um, I try to find a career of one of these professional's career that I can kind of model and follow, you know, right. the right, pathway. Right. So ain't, ain't trying to rebuild the wheel, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They did all the hard work, man. Just, you know, find what works for you and, and find maneuver. your niche. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. So um, I just went to school in San Francisco, studied music composition, nice. try to learn theory and I mean we all self taught by ear. Yeah. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. So that was for me it was just learning the basis and learning theory and you know, once I got that down, and I was able to find myself. And, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just really learning the language. That's it. Yeah, it's right. a language. It's just exactly. learning the language. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just invested in that, and and. Uh, so, how how long yeah. did you go to school in San Francisco? I was there about two years. So okay. I left around twenty seventeen. Nice. Okay. Twenty seventeen. Got there twenty fifteen, fourteen ish. And I finished 2017, but uh, great experience, man. I got to work with young directors, Dope. producers, yeah. learn learn about set design. Like, I mean, whole, all kind of stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? All kind of stuff. So it was it was definitely educational for me. But uh, uh, yeah, man, tough journey, but it is what it is. You know, right. I mean, yeah. it's, it's it's a beautiful journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look yeah. back at it now, it's like, all right, I guess I was supposed to go through all that. You know, yeah. and and. Uh, I mean, there's some people who've been through worse, so I'm not complaining. Right. You know what I mean? In that Everyone regard. Everyone has their own story. Right. You know, exactly. Everybody has their own story. So you just kind of appreciate it and, and know that, you know, most people go through something before they. Yeah. For, for you know, it's like a, yeah. yeah, it's like a, you got to go through the gauntlet. Yeah. You know? Indeed. Exactly. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Mm -hmm. So um, 2017, you're done with school. Mm -hmm. You come back here. Mm -hmm. um, what was kind of like your first. Your first thing out here, that gotcha. Yeah, your fir your first uh, job out here. So when I came back, uh, I was a security guard. Okay. For for, uh, for film sets. Nice. Okay. Right. Okay. So uh, right. was it at a specific it was, studio? It was. Uh, it was a man. I gotta get these security guards. They plug. You know. <laughs> no, but it's, 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 it's a company called Real Security. Okay. Nice. Out in uh, 
I guess that's that's not really. I guess it's kind of Hollywood. Okay. It was all Ventura. Nice. Okay. Um, so they did a lot of security for different companies. So uh, so we was on like uh, the nine one one. Oh, nice. Uh, show. Mm-hmm. Um, Sounds like maybe Hollywood Center. Or I think it was like Dear that. White People. We did a few times. Oh, okay. Nice. Um, yeah. So we did a few shows on that, and I was able to kind of see how they set up. So as a film composer, in my mind, I'm like, oh, okay, this is how they be lightning. And, you know, I was just taking little things and and, and taking it back with me. So Uh, Work to learn. Do not work to earn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work to learn. Learn. Yeah. Work to learn. Always something to learn. He he didn't become uh, a security guard at Rouse. (laughs) (laughs) No knock knock to y'all. No no knock (laughs) to you. No knock to you. But if you have a goal, right, if if your goal is to work in film, um. You got to you got to yeah. put yourself in in the mix somehow. Exactly. You know, get in where you, you fit in. You may you may not yeah. be you know the screenwriter the first time you. Yeah. But hey, you work security, exactly. meet a couple of people, you know, get on a couple of jobs. Yeah. yeah. Work to learn. Okay. Yeah. So so didn't mean to interrupt you, but no, no, you can <laughs> no, no, drop no. a little key for everybody. No, no, that's a, that's a great lesson. But it's it's uh like you said, I was just trying to get myself as close to it as possible. You right. know, as you should. As you know, just to uh, put myself in in that environment. So. I did that for like a year and a half, and then after that, I uh, I did an internship okay. with a film composer, nice, okay. based in Santa Monica. Dope. Um, name his name is Ian Honeyman. Shout out to Ian. Um, he was a good guy. How did you meet Ian? I met him through. How did I meet Ian? I think it was. Man, was it Craigslist? I don't even remember. Mm-hmm. Like, mm. I don't know where I met him or how I did, but I was just on a bunch of sites, nice. bunch of just. Trying to find composers. I think I found his email and I emailed him or something like that. And um, I did that. Intern with him every day from like eight to like two. Nice. You know, down in Santa Monica. So I, I was doing like audio tech stuff for him. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, grabbing samples. Yeah. You know, stuff. You know, small things. You right. know. And then it got to the point where he'll let me compose a little bit. With him, collaborate with him, you know that kind of stuff. So, nice. um, it was it was a, it was a slow progression, so. but uh, he, he allowed me to work with him and kind of learn and see the process of right. uh, how he how he does his work, you know. Uh-huh. So, he done a lot of he, he worked with Hans Zimmer uh, closely. He was part of that camp, and um, it was just great to be able to learn from a guy like that. Especially, yeah. I'm just coming in from school. I don't know what's going on. Right, right, right. He's right. right. trying to figure it out. I'm like, okay, how do these guys work? That was my main thing. I just right. want to see how behind the scenes, like, okay, what are they doing? You know? Yeah. And, and try to basically compare myself. Like, okay, maybe I need to do a little more of this, mm. a little more of that, right. learn this. And um, I did that for about two years. Okay. And uh, from there, I kind of just spread out on my own, man, and, and, and just... Met a lot of people, went to a lot of seminars, mixers. Mm. Those are important. You gotta, yeah. you gotta do that. Mixers, seminars. Right. Um, it just kind of have your face around. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. That was one of my main focuses. Okay, okay. So afterwards, um, have have you have you composed for a film at this point? At that point, I did short films. You did short films. I okay. did short films uh, from school, like uh, you know, the projects. So, okay, okay. You know, things like that. But uh, some of them made it to festivals at that time, so that was cool. That was one of my first um, films that I worked on that actually, you know, won like a, an award at a film festival, nice. oh, things oh. like that. So I was kind of, you know, I was I was getting my name was kind of getting around. Right. You know, it was just the very beginning of it, and uh, I was uh, part of this group called Composer Diversity Collective. Okay. And uh, it's basically just composers of wait, color. Wait, wait, The CDC? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know, right, right. That's, that's weird. <laughs> you caught that one good. You're like, wait a minute. That's, that's the CDC? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Composer Diversity Collective. Exactly. The CDC. I, you I, 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 I would say the whole thing. I would... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And... Um, so I got my mentor told me about that. He said, "Man, you should be a part of this group, so you can meet other composers and yeah. you know that kind of thing." So I did that, and that's when I first because uh, they had a mister at Netflix. Okay. At the building. Okay. Right. So they had a mister there. So that was my first time when I went to that. That's when I was able to 
at least meet certain personnel people. Okay. Okay. From Netflix, and that's uh, nice. I, I guess that's how that started. So, and then um, I just kept going to those man and just meet people. Right. You know, other composers who and just, networking. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Everybody just grinding and and uh, like minded people. So it was great, man, and just being able to learn from them. Right. All right. Now in the mix of this, you're you're doing your own stuff as well, with like your albums and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, so you you have a whole band, right? Yeah. So I have a I have a production group. Okay. It's uh it's three of us. Uh, it's Amos and uh, T J. Actually, it's four of us. Amos. Uh, I call him as Famous Amos. Yeah, he's a drummer. <laughs> he's, okay. he's a composer in his own right. Shout out to Famous Amos. <laughs> and uh, my boy T J. I think you you might know T J. He went to Crenshaw. I probably know if I you know him. by face. I yeah, think yeah, you I know him. Know I, I think you him. know him. Uh, TJ and uh, uh, my boy Adam. Okay. He's uh, he's a multi instrumentalist kind of guy. He plays everything. Okay. Technically, just he's a tech guy too, so he yeah. just kind of knows a lot of that stuff. Oh so. yeah, yeah, you need one of those. Yeah, man. <laughs> something I'm like, yo, I, I can't figure this out. But man. how many instruments do you play? Uh, I play. Let's see. I play the ukulele. Nice. A little bit piano. Um, bass a little bit. Okay. Um, it's just a bunch of percussion. So I'll say like three. Yeah. Three. I'll okay. say like three. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's cool. You know. Yeah. I got to the point where sometimes you have to hire people all the time. Right, right. And it's just like, it especially at that time, it's like I don't have enough money to pay. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and nobody really want to do it for free all the time. Right. So, right which right. I understand that. So I got to a point where I mean, I at least learned to play it a little bit. Yeah. You know, get to a point where I'm at least kind of efficient with it. So wow. that's kind of inspired me to do that. Right. You know what? Now I see people that play bass. Mm-hmm. If you can play bass, can't you play guitar? Or is it? Or is, is there a difference? Uh, I can't play guitar. I wouldn't even. I, I will play guitar like a bass. You know what I mean? Just because I'm so used to. So the, the way the way that you strum it. Yeah, because because okay. of the weight of the strings, you know, the oh, guitar okay, is okay. a little lighter, and you know, it's just certain delicacies you just gotta have with it. Okay, like, I don't, okay. I haven't developed yet. Okay. I'm actually gonna buy a guitar, so we'll see how that go. Okay, dope. <laughs> That's awesome. Luck. Yeah, yeah, wish me luck. But uh, but yeah, those guys. Um, so we call ourselves the dudes, and um, yeah, we just work on projects together. Things like okay. that. And uh, I just think the more talented people you have around you, man, it just makes it a little easier. Right. And it's more fun, you know, a little yeah. more intuitive. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, you're not just thinking in your own head all the time. Right, right. right. Try not right. to do that because, you know, it, it, it just gets, it just get too redundant just thinking in your own head all the time. So right. I try to get a different perspective. Branch out. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Branch out a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. So, um, Talk talk to us about your journey into Netflix because you've com- you've composed for Netflix movies or shows. Yeah, I, uh, I've done uh, work with uh, let's see, uh, Colin Black and White. Yeah, yeah. Uh, series. Um, I worked on the Closer. Oh, uh, Dave Chappelle, yeah, the Closer. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and I worked on a few like animation stuff that hasn't come out yet. So okay. we'll see how that goes. Okay. But uh, the way I kind of got through there was. Uh, one of my uh, one of my friends who actually went to Oregon with me, she ran track. Oh, okay. nice. Um, she she was always into marketing, you know, okay. marketing, and she's a musician herself. She's a great singer. Okay. Her way she can sing her her, you know what off. She can sing, but um, and oh, and side note, this is why it's important to. Be friends with everybody. Right. <laughs> you don't know who's going to be who. You, you never know, know. In five, ten years, you just yeah. don't know. But uh, we was always good friends, and uh, she just happened to be in the marketing department at Netflix. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. So uh, they were, Netflix had a production uh, group at the time uh, called Music Lab. And so I guess they were looking for more composers on their roster okay. for their production uh, group. So. She kind of threw my name in the hat. You know, I talked to him for a little bit. And then, like, six months go by, hear nothing. I'm like, mm-hmm. damn, that must didn't go well. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. You know, I just kept pushing, kept doing it. And then, let's say, like, basically a year later, they said, hey, you know, we want to do an interview. You know, we want to uh, basically, see, you know, see if we bring you on board. So, um I guess I don't know if they was going through my background for a whole year. Right. <laughs> you want to make sure this guy's all right. right. So uh, 
you know, it took a little time, but we was able to work it out. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Dope, dope, dope. So you you got on board with them. So were you like um like are you like a full time employee or ten ninety nine? Like how does how does that work? I'm, I was ten ninety nine with them, so uh, I was basically uh, I guess freelancer. Okay. Uh, okay. Kind of, you know, but um, I was part of their team in a sense of you know they had like ten composers. Okay. That they kind of had on their roster mm-hmm. that they call depending on what what kind of music they're looking for. They had a guy in Argentina. They had another guy in the UK. Nice. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. So it was like 10 of us. So they can get a different feel. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Music. So. Depending on what they needed. So if they wanted some kind of desperado acoustic <laughs> guitar, they called a guy from Argentina. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> yeah, do that for them, you know, right. that kind of thing. So, yeah. uh, um, but it was cool because, you know, we all worked together. But um, Nice. Yeah, so that's that's basically how that, how that went. And they would just call me and say, hey, Steve. Um, and actually, the first project that they gave me was the Colin one. Oh, I'm like, man, they just threw me in the trenches. You know, I'm like nervous. I'm like, oh man, I thought they would ease me into <laughs> all right, do this. I'm like, oh man. So uh yeah, they basically just, you know, emailed me and said, hey Steve, because this is during COVID. Okay. Around yeah. COVID time. Yeah, yeah. So we did a lot of stuff via Zoom. Right. Mm-hmm. So we did a lot of that and it just briefed me. This is what we're looking for. You know, we give you a week to come up with something, see what happens. So it, it was great, man, and um, the people at Netflix are real cool, just because they're so vibrant. Right, it's like yeah. a young, it's like a young energy, energy in there. So, yeah. um, you know, you know, it's not like you're sitting across a desk from um, a guy who's been there for like sixty years. You know what I mean? It's oh, that, the... Yeah, it's like that whole. <laughs> it's like, oh man, it, you feel a certain way about right, it, but right. everybody's young. Everybody yeah. is pretty much um, learning the game. They're all new. Right. You know, so everyone has that same kind of a um, that, that drive, right? Yeah, drive, yeah. and you know, everybody's just happy to be there and just you know learn. So, how was it during COVID? Um, you know, working remote was it different? Were you still able to get like you know inspired and creative? Yeah, it was. It was. It was okay. You know, it's it's a lot easier when everybody's there. But yeah. um, I guess it was something we had to get used to. But you know, with, with Zoom, every Maybe every other day, you know, just kind of like, hey, how's the progress going? Yeah. Can you help with this? Do you need more resources or, you know, whatever you need from us, let us know. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. So that's real helpful. Right. And um, it's a lot easier to work, you know. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not so much of you just sitting there on your own. You know, they all, they all trying to help, you know, because they all want to do well. So, um, but the Zoom wasn't a big problem. It wasn't a big problem. Right. Everybody, everybody was pretty professional right. and doing their thing. Mm-hmm. So are are so you're still a part of the composers? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you know you get they give you something every month or like how, you know it varies. Work? Yeah, it varies. Um, it's times where yeah every month sometimes it boom boom boom. It could be a three month lag where it's nothing. Yeah. It's like okay that's cool. Yeah. You know I can work on my own thing. Right. right. Or I can collab with someone else and do, you know, whatever else. So right. are you still getting paid during those four months or how does that work? No, you you get paid per project. Got it, got it. Got yeah, it. yeah. You get yeah. paid per project. Okay. Um but there were there are composers who on actually on salary with them, but they're actually employees of got it. Right. Netflix. So uh regardless they getting, you know, like a normal nine to five job. They yeah. Get a check every yeah. you know, like that. So um but yeah, we, we get paid per project. Nice. But there's there's times where you know, you you you, it's every month, right? And then there's times and where, coming. all right, we got some time, so yeah, <laughs> what are we gonna do here, you know, yeah, jump Let's, on the next project, right, right. And try to find something else. Exactly. I feel like everybody in the industry, we all have our moments where we're looking for the next project, or right. we're off, and that's why we have to save our money, you know, because so many people in the industry, right? They make more money, spend more money, and yep. then you know, you find yourself broke and you're yeah. not on a project for like you know a good three months right, right, yeah. right. but then then when that that project comes you'll be on it for like maybe a whole year you know right, but right. it's tough you know the industry's tough yeah it's a, it's a yeah. tough game but yeah. uh it's like you said you know it's important to save your money yeah and just kind of you know live don't don't try to live too above your above means right? <laughs> yeah. keep it keep it chill until until you get the big big bag then, yeah. then you know then you can play around a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, exactly. But um, uh, so so is yeah. the goal for you to get on full time at Netflix? Mm-hmm. Like, what 
Well, what's your personal goal? Well, you want to take it? my personal, well, not necessarily full time with Netflix. Uh, my goal is just mainly just just get more projects, man, right. okay. and um, establish myself more as a, com- a film composer. You know, work on work on more. Actually, getting the feature. That's one of my next um, main goals. Mm-hmm. That you know, immediate goal. Okay. Uh, to actually do a feature. Okay. You know what I mean, uh, to yeah, score yeah. the whole movie. Exactly. Okay. Because okay. a lot of because a lot of things we're doing, I'm doing uh, lately, or you know, within coming up, it's been more collaborative, which is mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because you're learning the game, you're learning the process, and um, but but my focus is to try to get more more responsibility, right. and uh, you know, just try to have it. Have it all, yeah, you know what I mean? Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, kind of lead the way. Yeah, yeah, but but know. that takes time. You know, you got to learn and, you know, you got to keep, you know, like you said, the gauntlet. Right. You all got to go through it, so. Um, but, yeah, that's one of my immediate goals, man, is to do a feature. Oh, okay. sure. Okay. For sure. So what what do you think that it's going to take um, for you to get there? I mean, you already have an impressive resume. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you, what do you think? What else do you need to do in order to kind of take that next jump? Ah, man, uh, I say just keep doing it. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, staying consistent um, and keep learning. You know what I mean? Keep listening and learning. Keep being around people who who are better than you. You know, mm-hmm. I try to be around people who are. It's been doing it for a long. But I'm just like, time. whoa. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> How did right. you do that? You know, I try to keep myself around people that's going to keep pushing me. You know, yeah. so I have a lot of mentors who. You know, they'll hit me up and say, hey, Steve, what you got going on? What's, you know, just kind of like you're not stopping, right? right, right, like, right, like, right, like, right. like we want to make sure you still keep pushing. on pushing, still you know? Pushing. Yeah. So to, to have that, you know, because I don't want to tell him I'm not doing anything. Mm. Yeah. You know, that, that would make me feel bad. So I'm like, right. nah, I can't tell him that. Like, yeah. I got to be doing something. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, oh, I'm working on this. I'm working on this. Okay, all right, Steve, keep it up, man. All right, cool. Boom. But, um, you know, just hold me accountable. You know yeah. that's that's yeah. that's a big yeah. thing. You know, Definitely. yeah. Definitely. Just just surround yourself with good people. You know, right. that 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 at least carry you to some degree. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Now I know um, when we talked a little while ago, you were talking about um, writing your your own film. Mm-hmm. And, you know, kind of doing that. How's that process coming along? Oh um, it's coming along great, man. It's a uh, it's a lot of it's a lot. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's a lot. Believe me, it's a lot of writing. But uh, you know, because it's something that it's an arena that I'm not familiar with, right? And right, that right. you know that process, you know right. that part of the game. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. being able to to kind of switch hats, and now I get to see like, oh, this is what these writers are going through. Man, they gotta they gotta identify the character. They gotta yeah. make sure the character has a has a you know being able. The audience have to be able to identify who this person is and be able to connect with that person. So, right, you know, right, it's, right. It's a, it's a different way of looking at it. Versus just getting the film, that's, that's already established. All right. I have to do is just connect the emotion part of it. Exactly. You know? So are you going to do all of that too and connect the emotion? Oh, yeah. To everything, right? Definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, not by myself. But, yeah. Right, right, right. right. But, uh, yeah, I, I plan on scoring it too. Yeah. And, uh, you know, because how I got this far, at least to this point, is just doing it myself. Right. And not waiting for opportunities or... Yeah. To, to to keep knocking on doors. Right, right, right. Where mm-hmm. you just do it yourself, and whatever comes out of that, uh, other opportunities to come. You exactly. know? Like, oh, man, you did that? Right, oh, right. God, that's pretty cool. Can you do something like this with this? Right, right. You exactly. know, so that's how I was able to get a lot of gigs and projects and stuff like that right. was being a little more assertive and doing it yourself. Exactly. Yeah. So how how far along are you? In the, um, in the writing process? Yeah, in the writing process. I would say, uh, man... I mean, it's hard to say. I would say, I say within this year, I should be okay. Okay. Um, Because I do want to start filming towards the end of this year. Okay. So uh, I think I'm, I think I'm halfway there. Nice. Okay. Um, Are so you I, the only writer on the project? Or you no, no, I'm not the only writer. Okay. I have, I have friends who I could bounce, I nice. can, you know, bounce yeah. ideas yeah. off yeah. of, and nice. be like, hey, this, is this all right? They're like, well. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> which is good though. I right. like that, you right, know. Right, so because right. you need that, you want to make you sure it's right, you know. Yeah. So uh, I'm leaning on, you know, a lot of the friends who who've written before, mm-hmm. and um, they kind of guided me on what to look out for. Nice. It's what you want to avoid, you know, because depending on your your budget, 
you know, you have to write within your budget. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, right, I had to learn right. that. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can't, you know, I don't have a million dollar budget. I can't right, write. Right. You know, I can't write. I can't build really? this building. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, I, can't be, you're right. I can't be Christopher Nolan and just blow up, the, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. yeah. So I got to write. 17 drones in the sky. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I can't do that. So let me let me dim that thing right. down and, um, you know, be able to film when I'm writing mm-hmm. within, you know. You have to think about all of that yeah. in one. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. You don't think about that till you're writing. Like right, right now right. that you yeah. brought it up, I'm like, right within your budget. I'm yeah. like, yeah, you're right. You, you only got five dollars. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know hey, you better pick one, <laughs> one scene. One. For the whole movie, for the whole movie, yeah, and make and it work. Everybody know? gonna go right. there. Everybody gonna go there. <laughs> Is that? I mean, if that's what you got to do, you got to do it. You yeah. know. Wow. I mean that that's yeah. how that's so how I a lot of films it. are made, right? Now. Like if yeah. you look at a, like a lot of the films, like I remember there's one. Oh, I can't remember the name of it, but this lady is pretty much just at this house. Okay, yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. it is and it's done at, at the house for pretty much ninety percent of the time. The, yeah. the whole of film. The film, you know, and. Yeah. You know, when you don't have these big budgets coming along every day, you got to maneuver. So, yeah, yeah. Got to make it One, work. two scenes. Yeah. Are right, we going to do it in the front yard? We're going to go in the backyard. Right. We're going to go in the bathroom. Right. We going <laughs> Now you yeah. now you got different places, you right. know what I'm saying? But it's 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 all in one spot right, right. now. Mm-hmm. So you got to you got to maneuver. Yeah. So that's that's some of the things I'm keeping in mind while you know, well, you're right. It, yeah, yeah. So is it? Um, because I I know I actually feel it was a shorter feature. I know you was kind of good. Yeah. Would, I, you would know you... what? I I take your advice. <laughs> <laughs> See, all right. you got to listen to other people. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not all about you know. But yeah, I take your advice, and I'm just gonna do the feature. Yeah, route, do the feature. Yeah, so the feature good. Route. Yeah, that's what's yeah. up. That's yeah. What's up. Yeah. Well, I told because uh, Dale, mm-hmm. I was in a meeting with with Dale one time, mm-hmm. and um. He, shout out to Dale Stelly. He was on episode two, right? Hi, yeah. Dale. Shout, Dale out Stelly, shout out to Dale Stelly. <laughs> but we we were in the meeting, and he goes, um, and the guy asked him, like, hey, do you do any short films? And he was like, man, if I'm going to bring all this shit out, I'm going to do a feature. I ain't doing this. Right, right. You know, it makes sense. It makes, yeah, it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, He's yeah, like, I'm going to spend yeah, this yeah. money, bring it out. I might as well get the bang exactly. for my buck. You yeah. can't do much with a short anyway. Right. That's true. You know, except submit it to a film festival if I have right. a feature. You know, no. I could possibly sell it. You know yeah. what I mean? I yeah. could do yeah. something with it. Yeah. So it's like yeah. if I'm gonna rent it and bring it out, you might money, as well. You might as well just yeah. do it. Yeah. I'll do the whole shebang, huh? Yeah. yeah. So I, yeah, I take your advice, man, and I'm gonna uh, go to feature route. Good oh, for you. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Can you tell us what it's about or so, uh, a little synopsis? Uh, so I, I give you. You put him on the spot. I, 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 I just want a little bit. <laughs> so it, it's gonna be based in the '70s. Um, so that's, that's going to oh, be, you a, really got to write within your budget right, now. <laughs> right, right, right. You're talking about costumes. about the old school cars. And, yeah. 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 So, so, you know. Do you already have your actors? It. Yeah, I have, I have those in mind. Yeah. I've already, I've already spoke to the people that nice. I feel like have that personality of, you know, Yeah. You, you, you know what's funny? I was watching, uh, Snowfall the uh-huh. other day and they were in that restaurant, um, that's downtown coming off of, uh, I want to say 9th Street. When you come off the 110, you go down 9th Street yeah. and you're going east. Uh-huh. And once you hit Fig, it's that rest, it's that popular restaurant that's on the oh, left side. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right there. Yeah. So he comes out the restaurant, right? And this is like in the 80s, early 90s. Yeah. So he comes out the restaurant and he goes to his car, a little cutlass or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And in the background, you can just see like this big ass new apartment building. <laughs> I'm like, like, wait a minute. I'm it's like, all man, modern and everything. It's all modern, like condos. Like, wait a minute. Are we in the like, future? <laughs> I'm looking like, man, you could have CGI'd that thing like, out or something, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm like, somebody got to get fired. That's funny. You no know, well, no you would, condos. You would see that. That's it's, it's, funny. It's Not funny. a lot of people see that, you know, unless you're maybe a filmmaker. Right, right, right. right, right. right, right. Like, see, see, you like, got the I, eye. You know, I'm just eye. like... Because w- when I saw him come out, I was like, "Oh, he had the thing." Yeah. And then they're showing it. I was like, "Wait!" A I was like, "Man, it's got to be like some building." And as soon as I thought You're about a it, background watcher. As soon as soon You're as I thought about watcher. it, this big condo, luxurious. I'm like, yeah, green screen that out, whatever yeah. they did. You got to yeah. do some with yeah. that. Yeah. That that was fun. Okay, so it's just a background. So watcher. so, do you know how you're gonna? You know, maneuver through that with yeah. everything so, being so modern and everything. Well, um, 
I was well. I have certain resources as far as houses. Okay. As okay. far as like filming out of. Okay. Um, and I'm going to shout out to my grandma. I'm using my grandma. Aww. Uh, shout out grandma. Shout out grandma. Because, grandma. because, because she still <laughs> has that old school yep. look in her house. Yep. Yeah. Houses yep. and yep. Yep. you know things like that. So I'm like, well, I might as well. You know, that might yeah. be one of the she, locations. Yeah. She, she she got plastic on the couch. Oh yeah, all that. Oh, yeah, see, all that. that's yeah. the spot. She got the that's grand the grandfather clock. And, you know everything. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. She got all that. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, so I figured. So. I was looking around. I'm like. Oh, we're gonna we gonna, yeah, do the, we gonna do the whole thing yeah, right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a it's gonna be a nice spot right here. Yeah. It's gonna be the yeah. primary location mm-hmm. right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I mean, I was keeping in mind like you was like you mentioned earlier about the cars. Right. I right. thought about that. I was yeah. like, well, I mean, you, you can't rent out. I mean you can, but that's mm-hmm. gonna that's gonna that's, that's gonna, gonna hit you. you. I mean yeah. you it just depends. Unless I have you I have uncles who, you know, it just depends on well, you got you just got to make like the the one thing that I like about Snowfall is mm-hmm. that like the cars aren't like super flashy, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you'll be able to find like a nice little cutlass or whatever, right? You know, you ain't trying to add a candy pane and all. Right, you know right, what right, right, right. Like it's not a music video. Yeah, right, right, yeah, right. it's not a music video. So <laughs> it's like that. That's was that's what I like about Snowfall. Like yeah. all the cars are. Pretty just like you know, just regular cars. Right. That you drove, you know. Right. What I mean? So that's what you really got to find. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sorry about these microphones. No, no, you good, man. Man, it's we, a little heavy. It's okay. Yeah. No, we're gonna have to. You gave uh, me the broken one though. I did give you the I broken. See how one. it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, where's the love? That one's mine. Because nah, I mean, if you if you if you listening on audio, right? Like you, all you hear is like. No, but you. I know. <laughs> but you know what? Actually, even though. <laughs> Even though it's been <laughs> dropping like down to my knees, I you can still hear. You me. can still hear. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then weird. we, but then we gotta adjust, and then you hear all this. I know. You hear Sorry, all this guys. Thing. Sorry. <laughs> Madge is all giving it's me all that good. look. Like, oh no, I do it all the time too. Like, <laughs> yeah. no, nah, you you listen to the old episodes, and 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 it's like when you edit in it, uh-huh. it's like, do I want to like. Listen to all this again, and you know, yeah. kind of go through and take this stuff out. I'm like, nah, I'm just keep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep, yeah. man. It's raw TV. <laughs> right. yeah. that's, that's what the people want. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. exactly, exactly, exactly. Wow. So, so tell us um, how your your journey is going with your music career. Okay. Um, I know you have three albums out. You got mm-hmm. a lot of singles. Chill out. vibes. Ah, uh, yeah, chill vibes. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's going great, man. Um, I got inspired. With the chill vibes thing, because uh, I had a friend, she was listening to uh, like kind of a lo-fi, okay, yeah, chill kind of music, yeah. like to study to, relax, right. you know, or even sleep to. Um, right. And um, even when I go to sleep, I listen to, you know, I go on YouTube and listen to, you know, sleep music, whatever. Right. Right. So uh, I started noticing all the views and people that were like really listening. Yeah. I'm like, man, it's like a thing, you know. And I didn't realize the genre was that, you know, prevalent like that. Yeah. So I was yeah. like, "Well, shoot, let me let me just kind of see what's going on with it." Mm-hmm. And um, I just found myself getting into it. I'm like, "Man, this is cool," you know. Right, right. It's like right on my alley. So um, I just started making it, and and it came out like that. But uh, um, I mean, you don't know what's going to hit. You just keep making them. Right. You know, you don't know. You just keep making them, and if one strike go cool, if it don't, I'm keep doing it anyway. Right, right, so, right. That was our own mentality. So, Ru, Ru, Rulax, mm-hmm. um, it got a, a million streams. Yeah. Congratulations wow. on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. So, <laughs> like, how, how did that come about? Did you do some heavy promotion on it, or um, was it just kind of like, just kind of took off? No, it was it was, it was was some promotion involved, for sure. Okay. Um, yeah, what's the secret? The secret? The secret <laughs> sauce. I need to know the secret, yeah. Yeah, the secret sauce. <laughs> the sauce. Yeah, it was it was some heavy uh promotion involved. Um I just tried to do at the time, you know, my goal was to make sure I just had visuals. Right. Yeah. Which every with every single. Yeah. You know, it's just easier to push. We have a video with each single. So that was my thing then. I was like, well, I at least have some visuals mm-hmm. for people to uh be able to um, you know. People want to see things, right? So, right. So I right. try to I try to stay true to that. Yeah. And um, I think that helped with algorithms, mm-hmm. yeah. Spotify, you know, things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, being able to have that, I think, kind of helped too. But also, um, pay promotions. Yeah. Um, you do that as well. Facebook, yeah. Instagram, mm-hmm. um, YouTube, mm-hmm. you know, things like that. So uh, 
I just I just kind of pushed the line on that. Right, right. And uh, with with all the singles. Right, right, you know, right. Rue Last just happened to be the one that that kind of you know took off. Took off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, it's funny because uh, <laughs> shout out to my uncle. My uncle, <laughs> my uncle, kind of gave me the inspiration to name it that. Right. Mm. So I'm like, what's going on? What you doing? Oh man, you know I'm just Rue Lassing. I was like. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Like too. I'm gonna, yeah. Let me do that. Relax. Yeah, you right, right, right. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, that's, oh man, that's crazy. So, but I like the title, man. I was like, man, that's pretty cool. Relax. And 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 it's and a lot of the music is chill. Yeah. You know, so it's just like you know. Is that like an East Coast thing? Relax. That's, no, that's a West Coast. That's, that's gang banging term. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> he, yeah, yeah. That's my uncles. You know, they. they <laughs> shout out to my uncles. I love y'all. Yo, y'all, y'all, y'all. I love y'all. Hey, Unc. <laughs> <laughs> so he gave me the inspiration for that, and uh, I was like, man, that's kind of cool. Cause I always laugh when he said it. Right, right. I mean, right. that's funny, man. Yeah. I'm like nobody. I'm like, let me get that one. Yeah. And um, but yeah, did a video for it. Just kept okay. pushing it and. That's the one people like, oh, you know. Oh, so, oh, so oh. appreciate y'all for listening, for real, yes. for real. Now, do, does your uncle do that with like all words that start with R E? No, he he. he <laughs> that's just his thing. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm about to rue up. I'm about to right, 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 right. right. Rue up. That's funny. Yes. <laughs> so you over there inspiring me on some other. <laughs> no. He uh yeah, no, but that was his that was like his saying, that's you know what I mean? Every time I talked to him, I was like, man, this dude is hilarious, man. Let me go ahead and kind of uh uh show him some love in that regard. Indeed. You know? Indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so it was kind of cool where I was like, man, hey, I was like, uh, you won't believe what uh what song got a got a million strings. He like, which one? Rude. I said, man, Rue last. He's like, see, I told you, man. I told you, man. <laughs> So, so yeah, it's pretty fun, man. Just you know, it's like a family fun thing that we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, that's dope. So, uh, are any more albums in the works or singles? Like, what's going? What's going on? Uh, so, I'm 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 going to start doing Chill Hop Volume Two. Okay. Ooh. So so I'm gonna do that, man. Dope, and dope. Uh, uh, I want to incorporate more collaborations this time around. Nice. Finally get me on the album or something. I man, mean, let's do I mean, it. I mean, come let's on. Let's do it. Man. Let's I mean, do you, it, you man. Three albums deep and I, I can't get nothing. Come I can't on, get man. Call? Hey, I got you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, next time, next time, no, for real, I'm going to have a session probably in the next two weeks. Okay. Nice. And I'll let you know, man. I'm yeah. going to bring my boys, uh, Amos and all them. Okay. You know, with the drums and everything. So, nice. we, yeah, we just rock out. Oh, It'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. And I'll, I'll get you. Uh, all right, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Sure. Be my eyes and ears, man. Like, nah, that's not the one. <laughs> Nah, nah, you need to. Imagine that. All right. Yeah. And, and, uh, in, in, in the next two, three episodes, I'm going to let y'all know if he actually called me. I'm, I'm gonna... Hey, hold me to it. Hold me to it. Like, oh, man, he guys. was he was capping the whole time. <laughs> I ain't seen him. I ain't heard from him. He came and got interviewed and he just left, y'all. <laughs> yeah, man, hey, we going to do it. We going to okay. do it. For sure. Yeah, For sure. Yeah, That'll yeah. work. That'll yeah. work. Yeah. Nah, because the, beat, the beats are dope. I mean, mo- yeah. most of the stuff is instrumental, but I know you have like a couple of homies that you have. Yeah. Like rap on your stuff yeah. and sing on yeah. and everything. Yeah, because I want to, I wanna, you know, incorporate that too, you know. It was just... Um, at the time, it was just easier because it's just harder to reach out to rappers all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah, it was yeah. just it was it was one of those things where I just wanted to just boom, 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 knock yeah. it out, right, right, and put it out. So I that love your easier. instrumentals, though, Stephen. Like one of my favorites, I think it's on Chill Vibes. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's called Compton. <laughs> I like that. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah it was it, nice. You're looking out. Yeah, I, I mean. Um, I mean, I love all of them, but that was like no, no, that that one, the one that, that resonated. That with was you. a vibe cool. here, yeah, like right. today, you know, because all I, you know, I was listening listening to them at home, and uh-huh. it's like it sets a tone, yeah, you know, depending yeah. on your vibe, you right, know? That's right. Why I love your music. Oh, I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate you taking time to listen. For yeah, real, for real. Absolutely. I don't take that for granted. At I all. love music. I'm a music girl, so okay. like when I feel when I feel it. And I can feel it in my, you know, I get yeah, the goosebumps and all that. Yeah, yeah, you know? that's and that's the goal it's too. Right. It's so hard though. Yeah, yeah. it's hard. To, it's hard. To, you know what I mean? It. You know what? It's you don't it's, know. It, it's crazy because like you can make stuff that 
that resonates, but because there's so much stuff out there, right? It's it's hard for people to really like take the time, yeah, to get into yeah. it to yeah. really like because you like they're, they're, uh, of course you got those ones you hear it the first time it's like oh yeah you know, right, right, right 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 but a, a lot of times when you listen to music it takes a few times for you to listen to it for yeah you to be like oh man like I'm really like sometimes I'll catch something in the song I was like oh. Like, yeah, I, I didn't even know he said it. Like, <laughs> right. Damn, that's a bar like, right wait, there. Yeah, like, like, I had to yeah. listen to it. Like, you listen to this. Again. I missed that. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So it takes yeah. it takes a couple times for you to to really like feel something, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's like my only like gripe with music right now. Yeah. Like, it's just so much. It's so saturated that it doesn't give the listener enough time to really like yeah. feel it and connect yeah. with the music because you can make something that connects, but. If you don't have the time for it, you know what I mean. Yeah. If, if, yes. you, if you got it on the playlist with five hundred and thirty-seven other songs, yeah, it's tough. It's it's, it's tough. It's tough yeah. to really like, unless you just got that. Yeah, people know, listen differently now. You got that one? Oh yeah. yeah. It all depends people, on what you listen. Yeah, they just to. listen yeah. differently, and and the attention span is much shorter. Yeah. yeah. Just because it's too much content. It's so much content. Yeah. I can't yeah. listen to music nowadays. Like it's just so different. Yeah. It's not hitting for me. Um, so I'm always like going back to my oldies and like mm-hmm. all my old school music. It's old school. You I can't don't want to say I'm getting it. old. No, no, you know? but, you know, that's where the soul is at. You know? Yeah, I like yeah. the soulful music, yeah, and it needs yeah. to. That's what makes me, you know, get through my day. You know, yeah. this whole like that baby and all this. I'm yeah. not, you know, hey, yeah, yeah, kids I, love yeah. it. Everybody right, loves right, it, right, but right, it's just right. like I cannot connect with that kind of music. Yeah. So jazz, it is instrumentals. Mm-hmm. You know. And my oldies. You know? Oldies. Good old oldies. I don't even know if like the kids are really connecting. Like my, my son, he's he's eighteen. Mm-hmm. It's like a new song every day. Like yeah. I've I've never like seen him like, nah, like this this is the album. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like how we used to listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's like this, yeah. this is like the album and I'm yeah. bumping this for a month, two months. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Like this is my go to. Yeah. Like every every Week is just oh you hear the song you hear the song yeah. like, man how you I'm like man, this, this shit man. is trash <laughs> <laughs> why are you playing this to my like why you like bro? this <laughs> right exactly yeah. right, right. And, and and you know what I'm saying and it's it's not really given enough time for the artist to to live in order to create yeah. exactly. you know what I mean yeah you just getting a bunch of music bam 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 bam, bam. everybody's in a rush everybody's in a rush they have to yes. trying to be first yeah yeah, yeah, yeah trying yeah, to be yeah. first and you know what I'm saying talking about anything well what, what can they talk about you know you haven't you're not living the same thing you're not living you're not living yeah, yeah. You know yeah. What I'm yeah. I, re- I remember I saw um Lauren Hill mm-hmm. she was doing an interview and she said uh after she dropped the miseducation of Lauren Hill, everybody was like, "Man, you out right now? You got to do, 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 you got to get back in the studio." And uh, she was like, "You know, I went back in the studio. You know, I made some songs. You know, we had an album, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, I think it was songs that people might like. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But you know, I didn't have I didn't have enough time to to live my life in order to give you like the experiences that I'm really like exactly. inspiration. Like, the, the miseducation of Lauren Hill is." You know, thirty years worth of living. You know, yeah. right, and like, yeah. right, right, right. And right. you know, you can't, you can't just replicate that by trying to find some songwriters and putting something together. And right. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So that's why it's good to, uh, as an artist, it's good to travel and just yeah. see different things because it'll, it'll, it'll come out in your music. You know, right. It's more you. creative, more yeah. inspired. You have yeah. to. Yeah. I mean, I think that's with anything created, with too. Anything. Like with film. You yeah, know, anything. Yeah, film, absolutely. everything. See buildings, you're like, oh, okay, I'll never... Yeah. You know? Yeah. Exactly. How, yeah do you, exactly. how do you get in touch with your creative side um, with writing? So it's a little different, you know? I mean, yeah. I mean, no, I know it's similar. You get, you know, you get creative, you get inspired. You, you want to be in these, um, you know, certain rooms when mm-hmm. you're, you know, writing your music. Mm-hmm. But is it different when you're writing, like for film? Oh, oh, like That's writing for difference. film. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, because you, you have to be in tune with the character. Yeah. So you have to put your, try to put yourself in their mm-hmm. shoes as much mm-hmm. as you can, mm-hmm. you know, whether it's, it's a sad scene or if it's, um, you know, something victorious or heroic yeah. or something like mm-hmm. that. Right. You try to put yourself there. You try to understand them. And then um, from there, you try to draw from that and from your own experiences, you try to use that into... Yeah, the music that you're doing. So mm. I try to do it that way. Mm. So, I mean, it could be a film, 
that reminds me of, let's say, The Wood. Something right, like that. right, okay. So if I'm looking at a film, I'm like, man, this reminds me of The Wood a little mm. bit. Let me watch that. Mm. It kind of try to draw the emotion of it, like, okay, I get it. And then I can go back and then, you know, right, right. actually write to it. But right. um, yeah, a lot of it is just really try to get into the character yeah. as much as you can. Yeah. You know? Character. Yeah. yeah. It, has there been like a project that was just difficult, like super difficult to score? Um, most of the ones that were difficult were the ones that didn't particularly have a direction. Mm -hmm. mm. So, you know, it's, it's like somebody says, here, you know, do this. What do you think? You know, a lot. It's a lot easier when you have a director who says, "Hey, um, these are the inspirations that I have that I had while I was writing this film." Right. You know, they'll right, say, right. "Hey, watch, uh, watch Doom, or mm. watch uh, Creed Two, or something." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it's an action film, right, you know, right, it's a sport, right, sport kind of action film. Yeah. You know, it's easier to draw from that. Right, you know? right. In the beginning, most of the films that were hard were like the short films in the beginning. Okay. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the students may not have had a direction or just didn't really know what they wanted out of right, it. Right, right, right. So right. those are the ones that was just tougher because I'm kind of guessing. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going in it, I'm doing things. And they say, well, that's not really what I had in mind. It's like, well, you didn't really tell me. You didn't tell me what you wanted. Right. You just kind of right. gave it to me. <laughs> So I'm gonna go off it's, what I think. Right. It's, it's, it's crazy because I'm I'm yeah. like that. Like I'll, I'll have somebody like, oh, I need a logo for something. Uh huh. And like they're like, well, you know, is there anything you want? Me? I'm like, dude, that's you're the you're artist. For. Like that's yeah. what you for. <laughs> what do you ask me for? That's what I'm you. Give me a logo. <laughs> and I, I know I need to stop that too because it's like, you know, when <clears throat> when you're in charge of something as a director, obviously <clears throat> you're in charge of. Like the whole vision for it, right? And I remember yeah. listening to something. It was like, as a director, you you have to have all the answers. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, yeah. you have to have all the answers. That's what Jeffrey so. said. Yeah. yeah, is that what Jeffrey, Jeffrey said? Yeah, 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 exactly. Shout out to Jeffrey. Shout out to Jeffrey. Shout out to Jeff. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. No, you got to have all the answers, right? So yeah. it's like it's like that makes sense. Like, yeah, you're the visionary for it. This is your right. creation. Like, yeah. it just go by smoother yeah. when when it's that way. Yeah, you know, and you're not, you know that. The times where you say, "Well, I really wanted this," you know, you could have bypassed all that. Mm. Exactly. By telling me the first get go, right, this right, is where we at? You know, this is what. Right. Um, these are expectations. This is what I. This is what I would like to hear. Just the kind of tone I like. Mm. I like guitars. Yeah. I like um, a marimba. It could be anything. You mm. know, I was yeah. just say, "Hey, man, what, what?" I ask them all the time. Well, what were you thinking when you was writing this? You know, or what were you listening to? Because mm -hmm. sometimes when you're writing a scene, you might be listening to. Al Green in the background, right, right. you know, while you're writing. Sometimes, you know, that happens. I'm like, well, what were you listening to while you were writing? It's, oh, yeah. I was listening to this. I'm like, okay. So I'll go back and draw from that, mm. you know, whatever I could out of that. Nice. So I just try to pick, you know, poke at them. If they're not really giving it to me, yeah. right, right, sometimes right. I have to kind of prompt them to say, hey, man, like, what were right. you listening to? Right, or, what right. do you like? What movies do you like? Right, right. You know, exactly. then, they, then they'll start talking. I'm like, okay, I got you now. Nice. So sometimes you gotta yeah. dig a little yeah, deeper. Some, I mean, that's yeah. that's our job too. As composers, you know, we're supposed to ask those questions. Right. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Mm -hmm. All right. So last question. What? Do you have a question, V? No. Go okay. for it. Um. Last question. Um. You know, at the end of 2023, like, mm -hmm. where 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 do you want to be? Like, where do you envision yourself? Like, that's a good where is Stephen Lamar? Very good oh, question. Man. At the end of 2023. That's a great I'm glad you didn't leave. <laughs> we would have been in here like, crying. And <laughs> my man, my mama, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling I'm trying, you. I'm trying. Oh, man. End of 2023. Um, I would say I really want to do this, the, the feature. I really okay. want to have that concrete um, and, and pretty far along. Uh, so that's one of my main main things that I want to like finish. Nice and um, the work, script work. Yeah, right. The script, right, okay. right, right, right. And um, working on volume two. Right. Chill High Vibes volume two. two. Yeah, working on that. And just continue to meet people. You know, network. Nice. Always. Um, and uh, just stay humble, man, and mm -hmm. staying positive. You know. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. All right. Let's get sure. the feature, man. We got to get it. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. You are. Got to manifest it. I, I, yeah. I, I love that. Yeah. I, was, yeah. I, I don't think I gave you enough time to to kind of share what it was about because uh-huh. I, I mean I love the fact that it's set in the eighty. I mean in the seventies. Mm-hmm. Um, what 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 is the story about a little bit? Okay, you know, so yeah. it's 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 a crime drama. Okay, so uh, it's it's in the it's in the realm of Godfather Harlem. Okay. Snowfall ish. Nice. Okay. Wire ish. Okay. Okay. But the seventies. Okay. The seventies. Okay. Seventies. Okay. Because okay. most of the stuff we have here is, uh, you know, sixties, eighties. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mostly late eighties, early late 80s, 90s. 90s, yep. But nothing really in the seventies. Yeah. Before, um, crack epidemic and all. Right. That, right. 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 You know? mm. So that's that's kind of the thing I'm touching on. So I'm I'm relying a lot on my uncles, mm-hmm. who were around at the time. Mm. Who can kind of basically say, "Oh yeah, this is what we be doing." Oh yeah, we used to talk like this. Oh, we used to say these kind of slangs. Mm. Uh, you know, nice. so I'm I'm relying on them a lot when okay. it comes to okay. especially dialogue because you got to be able to talk. Right, you exactly. Talk, like, you know, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. yeah, yeah. So dope, we'll man. see, man. You know, if you know any writers? Let me know, man. Nice. Oh yeah, I can always use more writers. You know, there's any writers listening? Reach out to Stephen yeah, Moore. <laughs> yeah, we Good could. Uh, we could reach out to. Um, reach out to Vince. Okay. Yeah. You know Vince. Oh, Vince is good. Vince. Was he at the? Uh, was he there? No, he wasn't. He wasn't there. He don't be. He, he don't be coming out to party. Oh, he don't. Nah, nah. Oh, okay. Vince, he's a Vince low key is, guy. Huh? Yeah, he's low key, but he's a he's a really good. Yeah. Okay. He's All a really right. good writer. Okay. He could. Um, I'll, I'll link you up with him. Okay. I'll link yeah. you up with him. Yeah, he can, he can help you out a lot. He's yes, really good. he's really cool. good. Cool. All right, well, Steve, man. Yes. Appreciate you, my oh, brother. Yes. Appreciate yes. you, my brother. Oh, it's a pleasure. Yeah, so yeah. we are, this is episode eight? Episode eight, guys. guys look, I, we almost at 10, man. This we almost at right 10. Here. Hey. And we're getting booked up for the months. Like, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes I'm yes. just kind of like, this is... This is happening. This I'm happening. really Love excited. It, it is excited happening. We'll be on take two. I, I, I don't know if we're going to have a party for... Ep- is episode 10 like a... That's a milestone. Is that a milestone? Yeah. yeah. I was milestone. thinking like 100 or... Well, yeah, 100 too. Yeah. Yeah. We'll both of them. I like your thought process. 100. 100? 100. All right, yeah. we'll make it 100. No, but 10 is good though because what goes into a podcast, like people think like, oh, let's just do one, but it's... It's a lot, of, a lot work. of Yeah. It's a whole lot Coming of work. in weekly and like, you know, we do everything from the ground up, you yep. know, on our own. So. Respect. Respect. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, we, we just completed episode eight. With Steven. With Steven Lamar Moore. Um, thank you again, brother, oh, for coming course, in, man. man. Anytime. Appreciate Anytime. you. Anytime. Anytime. Lovely conversation. Yes. Um, I hope you guys learned some things. Um, there are many composers out there, people... You know, it, it, it's more than one way to get in the film. You know, oh, yeah. Some people want to sure. be actors. Some people want to be directors. Some people yeah. want to be composers. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you're, you know, trying to do that, man, you should definitely link up with this man. Where can they find you, Stephen? Uh, so on Instagram, I'm uh, at Stephen Lamar Moore. Uh, old government. His, old government. You know, his, I keep his, it, his mama lady. I keep it simple. <laughs> you know, I'm going to call him Stephen Lamar Moore. You know, I could go back to the S dot, but I'll be, that's for the past. You know? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, they can find me on IG uh, at Stephen Lamar Moore or um, email Stephen Lamar dot Moore nice. at gmail dot com. All right, you heard it here first. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, this is the Beyond Take Two podcast episode eight, brought to you by Beyond Hollywood International Film Festival. Yes. yes. I'm your host, Madge. And I'm your host, Veronica. And we are done for the day. Thank you Thank again, you. Mr. Moore, for coming through. Yes. And uh, we will see you guys next week. Woo! All right. Peace. 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 Beyond Take Two. Take a walk beyond Hollywood, beyond the lights, camera, action, is the hard work and passion, beyond take two, take a walk beyond Hollywood, beyond the lights, camera, action, is the hard work